full moon view. During the 1920s in LA, in a hospital on the outskirts of LA, a young immigrant child has broken her arm and is recovering. She comes across a stuntman with a broken leg and he promises to tell her an epic story. As he tells the story, his actual intention gradually becomes clearer, more to the audience than to the girl. It's not quite as sinister as I might be making it sound. And as the story goes on, it changes based on the mood and what the storyteller is trying to convey, as well as how it is affecting his audience. And this is, of course, the case with any proper storytelling. The film thus explores the act of storytelling, but also various themes such as love and its harmful impact, as well as its redemptive quality, cruelty, pain, and just, you know, various emotions of the spectrum. The acting is quite good, although one should note that the story, which is, of course, brought to life through the girl's vivid imagination, albeit limited contact with the rest of the world, colors some of the aspects of it quite humorously. The story is being told to a small child, and she is the one imagining it, so parts of it are exaggerated, including some of the acting performances. But other than that, they're very, very credible. The characters, although we mostly focus on the duo, is are quite good. Credible and more or less, maybe not entirely likable, but certainly realistic, you know. You might not agree with everything they do, but you certainly understand where they're coming from. You might at first not particularly like Alexandria, as the girl is called. I'd say she grows on you. You know, after a while you find yourself just... You know, she's she's kind of adorable. If You know... Yeah, you know, with her broken English and her personality. You know, she is very much a child, you know. And not really that obnoxious of one. And Roy, who tells the story, is also... You know, I, I really don't want to give too much away about him. We have two narratives, what goes on in the hospital in 1920, and, or the 1920s, and the epic tale which is being told. There are parts that correspond to one another, and both are told over the course of the film. Although, they're not equally important to, you know, what, to the overall movie, but I'm not going to give any more away about that. The, the, both plots are pretty well written, although again, you know, the, the epic tale that he tells isn't entirely realistic, of course. It, you know, it's, it's really not supposed to be. The visuals are utterly stunning. You know, I, I haven't watched all of Tarsem Singh's movies. It's only one of two, the, this and The Immortals. But this does appear to be the film of his which is really worth, you know, the investment of time. Although Mirror Mirror might also prove to be one such case. He shot this all over the world and it creates this cohesive, not bound to any one culture kind of reality which is sprawling.
sprawling, the, the, the colors, the, you know, sets, props, and costumes are all elaborate and just utterly unforgettable. It's really quite beautiful. I could imagine that even if you don't care about what this film is conveying, or at least not as far as storytelling goes, which I realize will not be everyone, of course, just watching the beautiful imagery is enough to keep you interested if that is what you want from the movie. Because of just the sheer volume of it and how spectacular it is. The pacing is quite good. There's, you know, consistent development in the plots. And I suppose that pretty well covers it. So, yeah. I definitely recommend this to, you know, anyone looking for beautiful and at times partially surreal, in one sequence especially surreal, imagery and or anyone looking for just something that explores the act of storytelling and the active role of both storyteller and audience. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.